So that person you just saw in that video was Rudy Gorbert, and he actually just got diagnosed with this disease, which I can't actually mention because every time I do YouTube demonetizes my video for whatever reason, but oh well, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. So in the interview, Rudy was kind of just joking around. He didn't think that the disease was as serious as it was, and unfortunately, he was the first NBA player to be diagnosed with this disease. And as soon as the NBA found out, they actually shut down their entire league. So if you guys want to learn some more information on that, make sure you guys stay tuned because me and my friend Full Emotion are going to be going over this topic in great detail so that you guys can figure out what's going on. So the interview that you guys saw at the very beginning of this video took place on March 9th, which was Monday, and I'm recording this video on Wednesday, which is the same day the NBA got shut down. So that interview was only three days ago, and if you have the virus, you can have it up to two to 14 days without even knowing. So the chances are pretty likely that Rudy actually had the virus as he was touching all those mics and touching the interviewers, and it's possible that the entire room could have been affected with the virus because of that. Now, obviously, a lot of people aren't taking this disease seriously and personally I wasn't even that worried about it till recently because I have friends who are getting sent home from college because of this disease. So anyways let's talk about the game that was cancelled today. So today the Utah's Jazz team was supposed to face the Oklahoma City Thunder team but things got cancelled. Turns out right before the game they found out that Rudy Gobert had the disease and they decided to cancel the entire game even though people were all there already and that was pretty chaotic. At the time of recording this video, both of those teams are actually being quarantined in their locker bays right now because obviously the entire Thunder team might have the disease because of Rudy Gobert. So Rudy was not at this game specifically, but it still is possible that he gave that disease to other people and other people in that stadium could still have the disease, which is why they're being quarantined. So the NBA was already looking into canceling or at least suspending the league, but they were planning on making a decision Thursday or March 12th, but after they found out about Rudy, they just went ahead and canceled it on March 11th. So the final factor of the NBA shutting down was actually Rudy. All right, so now my friend Full Motion is gonna give you the rest of the information. And that's where the hiatus will start. You can see right here the reaction from Mark Cuban. Now you may be wondering why on earth would a sports organization as large and as powerful as the NBA shut down and be moved around over disease? Well, the reasoning behind why actually, in my opinion, it makes more sense than you might imagine. With the organization being nationwide, and cases of disease being reported in numerous different states, with varying numbers of cases and deaths all in between them, it's pretty much inevitable that a team would end up traveling to a state that may have more trouble containing the disease than others. You also have to understand that the NBA and the teams within them have to look out for the safety of not only their players, but their fans as well. And if there's any amount of risk when it comes to a move being made, it might not always be in the best interest to make said move, especially when you consider things like lawsuits, lost revenue, and potential infamy that comes with subjecting players, team staff, and fans to something as dangerous as airborne disease. And due to the nature of this disease to spread rather quickly, it's an enormous health risk to have stadiums packed with fans literally inches apart from each other, and if one person in the building is infected, the spread would pretty much be like a wildfire. So now it's starting to make more sense why the NBA decided to make such a drastic measure in canceling their entire season. In order to combat the spread of disease, sports organizations in Europe are already playing games in empty stadiums in order to look out for the well-being of people, which kind of seems unsafe to me because they still have to travel places but what can you do at this point, you know? And you might be wondering how long will this be canceled? Well, it is undetermined, but schools are being canceled until at least April, so probably around that same time frame. But from the way things are looking, the NBA season is most certainly over. At least this season in question, there's really no doubts in my mind that they'd take a risk as large as this one without much thought. And if they really decided to cancel the entire league over it, the decision was probably for the best, but we can only watch and see what happens next, and Aphid and I will most certainly be doing that. But thanks to Aphid for having me, and I'd appreciate it if you guys could come over to my channel and check out my videos. Anyways, thank you guys so much for dropping by, make sure you drop a like if it was helpful, and go ahead and check out Flow Motion's channel, especially if you're subscribed to me because he makes similar content except his is actually funny, and I mean, we all need a laugh. Alright guys, that is it for this video, stay healthy.